Welcome to another video, my name is Camillo and this is a very special special video because it's the Q&A for hitting 5k subscribers on the YouTube channel. I just want to start by saying a massive thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel and also to everybody that participated in the Q&A that I put on Instagram and on YouTube. Before I get started though, let's do some housekeeping. If you guys are wondering why I haven't uploaded that many videos as consistently as I have beforehand, especially those commercial behind the scenes videos, it's uh, for two reasons. The first is that there's a lot of things in real life that have happened. I've got a new job. I'm now a full-time digital content producer. I get to actually get paid full-time to do what I love to do, <laughs> which is pretty cool. As well as that, I've been doing some freelance work, which takes up the time that I would spend on these YouTube videos. But it's good because freelance work means that I can learn a lot of things that I can then teach you guys. And I have two videos in the pipeline, one showing you guys how to make beautiful looking fragrance commercials. And the other one is a behind the scenes of this commercial video that I made as well, which I thought was pretty cool and pretty fun to make. There's a lot to learn from it. So hope you guys enjoy it. All will come in due course. Also check out this upgrade, birthday present. <laughs> Felt like a pro. This is the story of a little Colombian boy that came to the UK in search for a new life as an internet personality. Tia asks, what is your favorite film? My favorite film is actually The Prestige. If you haven't seen it, it has Hugh Jackman, Christian Bale, Michael Caine. I think it's directed by Christopher Nolan. And if you guys know, Christopher Nolan films are usually about time and it's a film about magic. And because I used to do magic, I, I love that film. It's actually a really good film. You guys should watch The Prestige. All right, I'm gonna butcher people's names here. Poban. This guy asks, invest in a good camera or good lighting? Okay, this is actually a very good question. And I think a lot of people get this wrong and I think when people see their favorite youtubers and they see the camera gear that they have they think that oh I need to get this camera to get the shots that these people get and time and time again filmmakers and the same youtubers will tell you that it's not about the camera that you own it's about the knowledge of lighting composition framing all of that stuff put together that makes your images look good so to answer your question if you want to learn about shutter speed frame rates how to use a camera, just invest in a DSLR camera, any DSLR camera, learn the basic because those basics will, will take you really far, more far than you actually think that they will take you. Sometimes if I just miss out on the basics like white balance, I just completely ruin a shot. I think the next thing that you should invest in before you invest in maybe a gimbal or like a bunch of lenses is invest in good lighting or just a lighting kit so you can practice. And in a lot of commercial videos, films, whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna actually be playing around a lot more with lighting rather than the camera that you have. Gazi4 asks, what is your school course? At university, I did mechanical engineering. I actually have a master's degree in mechanical engineering. William asks, when lockdown is over, will you ever start dancing salsa again? Okay, so basically, I used to do salsa at university. I really enjoyed it. I got I got fairly good, but then I, I stopped going because my last years of uni were really difficult and I just made excuses. I think once lockdown is over, I'll definitely try and get back to doing some salsa. A notion. Oh, what's up, a notion? Uh, a notion asks, what is your dream job? I think my dream job would be this. That would be really cool if I could just do this full time. You know what? I think those cameramen that also jump out of a plane with the people that are paying to do skydiving, they're called free fall videographers. I mean, that'd be pretty cool if you just non-stop are jumping from planes and, and filming. That's 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 a cool job. That's my dream job. How did you grow your channel? Really and truly, I just made videos. I made tutorials. I tried to find things that other filmmakers, other creators were struggling with that I found a solution to or reviewing certain things that I had at home. I used to watch a lot of videos on how to grow a YouTube channel and you know, it's all about thumbnails and all about titles and everything. But at the end of the day, I just made videos. Who is Flying Tofu? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> okay, so flying tofu is actually my gamer tag on Valorant. I'm actually starting to do some gaming content. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's who flying tofu is. It's my Elias. Yeah. My gaming Elias. The Hamad Khan asks, to be a good filmmaker, what do you have to do? Do a degree on filmmaking or what? I think a good filmmaker is somebody that understands not only the technical aspects of filmmaking, so, you know, the cameras to use, the frame rates to use, the lenses to use, etc. But what the purpose of the content is and who is viewing it are going to be the best filmmakers. And how do you learn that? You learn that through experience. You can learn that kind of stuff from many other content creators out there who will tell you the stuff, but in order for it to be an innate skill that 
that you have within yourself, you need the experience. I think going to uni and starting a filmmaking course will help if you're somebody that likes to study and likes to go to a lecture and have somebody tell you information. It's also a very good place to network. I know people that do filmmaking courses and they like the fact that they are around like-minded people, but in this day and age, because there are different platforms to do courses online, there is YouTube University, there are articles, there's Reddit, there are so many sources out there that you can learn these things and then you can go and practice them and become a good filmmaker. Man, this should be a podcast. Like. What did you do before you moved jobs? I actually used to work with Michael as a fire engineer. I used to help create fire strategies for buildings, make sure that they met building regulations. I was basically a consultant and it was a very good job, very fun, lots of communication. And I felt very fortunate to have that as my first job coming out of university. So uh, yeah, that's what I used to do. I used to be a fire engineer. What piece of kit can you not live without? I want to say my camera because I love my camera and I like to take it everywhere, but I'm going to have to say my headphones. I do more listening through these headphones than I do with my own ears, which is probably not a good thing. <laughs> Who are your favorite YouTubers? I think my all-time favorite YouTube channel is Corridor. They've inspired me to learn how to use Cinema 4D. Their filmmaking techniques are just out of this world. They are just a great channel. Dhruv asks, how was your transition from being an engineer to a videographer? Wow, that's a, that's a good question. So like I said earlier, I did a degree in mechanical engineering and in my final year was when I picked up videography because I thought it was a really cool thing to do and I was doing freelance work. So I think the whole transition happened very slowly and kind of in parallel. I'd study during the day and then I'd come home and then I'd work on freelance projects. And then when I started my job as a fire engineer, I'd go to work and then when I'd come home, I'd work on YouTube videos. And now recently that I've switched to doing full-time content producing, the parallel lines have now joined. So it's been quite a slow, but I think healthy paced transition. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a very good question. Drew also asks, please state all your 12 surnames. I don't have 12 surnames, but I have a few surnames. So my name is Camilo Castaneda Gaviria Alarcón Fernández Ibarra García Camacho Zulaga. Colombian tradition is to like kind of keep all your family names. Okay, Laura asks, hi, what camera backpack do you recommend? So I currently use the Peak Design 20 liter backpack. I actually really recommend that backpack. I think it's great. I'll leave a link in the description below. The Amazon Basics camera backpack is what I started using and I think it's a great backpack. It just, it just works. Kat asks, where are your glasses from? They're actually blue light glasses. And I got these glasses from Barna. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but they're great glasses. What has been your favorite video to shoot? Honestly, like my favorite video to shoot has been the Sasa documentary because it took me, literally took me to Japan. We've put a lot of work into this documentary. If you haven't seen the teaser trailer, you can check it out up here. It was just so cool to go to a different country and interview people. And I like documentary style filmmaking. You're really trying to capture stories as they are happening in front of you, which is pretty cool. Dream camera setup. Ooh. I think my dream camera setup will be the Sony FX6. And I think I would use that camera for proper commercial work, films, for like high budget stuff. You know what it is, yeah? Like, I love camera gear, but I don't, I don't feel like I get so like crazy about it. Because I see, I see camera gear as tools, tools that help you get the job done. So I can, I can fantasize about a camera, but I don't get like, oh my God, I don't get that crazy about it. I would want to shoot with a cinema grade camera. That's like the next level of filmmaking. Currently, I'm just shooting on an MP4 H.264 codec. I'd like to shoot in a different type of codec. Maybe like a, like a, the red codec looks pretty good. The black magic codec. But great question, Max. Kamal Arif asks, zero in After Effects, what should I learn first? So I think that when you're learning a new piece of software, you should pick a certain type of effect you want to do and just go learn it. If you try to learn how all the tools work and all of the hundreds of effects that the software has, you're going to get very overwhelmed. Some of the most important things that you will probably end up using after effects for our motion tracking so learning how to track a point and also how to track a scene so you can put something in it masking and compositing things into a scene william asks why are you so cute why are you so cute slimzy asks which video is your favorite video and why? I mean, the video that's currently doing very well on my channel has over 70,000 views. I found a problem with a shot that I, I filmed and then I fixed it to look like this. And I thought, well, you know what? This looks pretty cool. Let me just show people exactly how I got to this point. Maybe it helps somebody. And I kind of was just like, yeah, this is, this is the situation. This is how you fix it. This is a video. 
piece out and then that was it and that video actually did really really well that's probably my favorite video just because of the experience of having something do well that you didn't expect it to do that well Corey asks what is the main thing that you have learned whilst getting to 5,000 subscribers going on to that last comment I learned that the videos that you expect to do well never do well thumbnails and titles are important the lesson that I learned the most and to getting to this point is make the videos that you enjoy making rather than just making the videos that you think are going to do great okay what is your favorite camera to use or aesthetic to create okay well the favorite camera to use is currently my sony a7 III and aesthetic to create currently i'm trying to create the kind of lifestyle aesthetic i filmed some videos with my friend kind of doing some fashion shoots some lifestyle shoots i tried to incorporate the the, the moody look to them i think it's a pretty cool look to learn okay what is it like to be self-employed i'm not actually self-employed i'm employed but i also run everything that's youtube everything that's free freelance through DK21 Media. That's a limited company. There's no ceiling to how much you can earn for the business as opposed to a job. But at the same time, there's a lot of work you have to put into a business to get to a certain level. So yeah. What's the biggest challenge been? I think the biggest challenge is consistently having the motivation. I could easily just spend hours after work playing games. <laughs> watching videos or watching netflix but instead i'm choosing to make videos they are fun but when you're doing it as a youtube creator or for freelance you have deadlines so you have people that are expecting things from you it means you actually kind of have to do the thing that you usually do as a hobby sometimes that takes you out of the whole hobby the whole passion thing so that's kind of been the most difficult part what's been a highlighting feature of your journey so far i think what's great is when people come to me and ask me for advice with their videos they send me the videos they send me the content send me the photos i think that's been so good because i really like helping people i really like teaching you guys stuff and you know making a video and then posting it and then having some comments it's very different to somebody coming up to me and asking me for help i feel very humbled that people actually come to me for it so that's been that's pretty cool that's probably the highlighting thing that's a, that's, that's a lovely question i love that one and with all that emotion that is the end of the q a i just want to express how thankful i am for your support you literally are changing my life every single day just by watching these videos if you have any other questions about me feel free to leave them down in the description below and watch it down there if you haven't already consider subscribing as it helps me out and it's free with that being said i'll see you in the next video